For us, this program, which is the forestry simulators, the purpose was to give our students, young men or women, the opportunity to get into the job market that we have in our area. You know, Gurdon is a logging community. You could say that that's what we do. We, we cut logs. My family's been logging forever now. So, I mean, I just want to take after the family and, you know, just go for it. You know, it's just, it's a big privilege. Not very many schools get to do stuff that we're doing right now. Getting this advanced technology, getting to experience it before we go out into the real world and have to learn the real thing. We purchased two simulators from Caterpillar. One is a uh, feller buncher, which is basically a tree cutting machine. Uh, the second simulator is a loader, uh, which basically uh, simulates how students a load of uh, logs onto the truck. I mean, around here there's a lot of loggers and there's a lot of them that are really looking for people that are experienced with this stuff. And this can kind of help us get into it a lot quicker, less training. You know, time is money, so to speak. Part of the, the training is how efficient are they? You know, because as a local operator told me that it should take seven or eight minutes to load a truck. so. His operator, he wants them to be able to uh, come in and efficiently load a, a, a truck and get them moving. This has the real motions, real detectors, real everything. So I mean, basically, if you're just sitting in here and you mess up, you know what you mess up. It'll tell you what you did. But out in the real world, you know, if you've never done something like this and you have to learn by hand, it's very frustrating to do. I know a lot of people are loggers. Some of my family members used to be loggers. and. I, no matter what I do, I know that I have something to fall back on because I know how to run these machines. It's definitely one of a kind. Um, this community was started because of forestry. It, it survives because of forestry. That's what we do, you know, cut and process lumber. This type of simulation, you know, the forestry, I don't know if it would be beneficial to every school, you know. I think that they need to find a need in their community that and feel that.